Hi guys, it's Graham again and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about some books that I'm going to be reading while I'm on holiday soon. Um, my husband Duncan and I celebrate our 8th wedding anniversary on the 29th of February. Um, so officially it's only our 2nd wedding anniversary because we got married on the leap year. Um, so we have decided because it's an important anniversary we are going to go away on holiday and we're going to be spending two weeks in a cottage on the Balmoral estate up in Ballater. Um, now Balmoral is obviously where the Queen spends her, I think it's winter that she spends there, um, possibly possibly summer, I can't remember, but the Queen certainly spends a lot of time there, it's her, her Highland retreat. So we have two weeks of blissful quietness in a lovely cottage on on the estate it sits about three miles away from the castle and we're going to walk the dogs in the the grounds of the castle we're going to eat lots we're going to drink lots and we're going to read lots so the first book that we're going to read uh duncan and i are going to buddy read it he's going to audiobook it and i'm going to read the the, the hardcover edition it's um me by Elton John. Now we we got this uh, on pre-order and we, we got it with the intention of keeping it until our holiday to read it together. Um, it's been a bit of a struggle because I've wanted to read this for ages since it came out. Since the day it arrived I've wanted to read this um, but we decided that we were going to read it together and that our holiday would be the perfect time to do it. So I'm so excited to get to this. Um, Elton John's autobiography and it's a beautiful book as well um, and his glasses are amazing and as you've probably noticed I have new glasses too <laughs> um, a little bit of a segue there but hey uh, so yeah this is going to be our first read and we're going to read this together um, I, I, I can't wait to get to this I'm so excited Elton John is just incredible and I've I must say I have read the first page and if that's anything to go by this book is going to be incredible. Um, so yeah, that's our first book that we're going to read together on holiday. Now the second book that I am going to take with me on holiday, um, I might not necessarily get to many of these books, I hope to, um, but the next one I, I want to take is uh, The Inimitable Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse. Um, collection of short stories, uh, Jeeves and Wooster, and P.G. Woodhouse is all you need to know. I mean, awesome. Uh, and this is a collection of, I think, about how many stories? Lots. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stories. Um, so that should keep me occupied for a while. Uh, the next one is a book that our next door neighbour, Arthur, suggested that um, I might like. He read this as a youngster um, and it sounded really quite intriguing so I had to I, I hunted down a copy now the only thing that freaks me out about the front of this um this dust jacket is the fact that it has a spider on it and it gives me the, the heebie-jeebies so I might need to read it without the uh, <laughs> without the dust jacket on it but this is uh, the, ha the Haunting of Toby Jug by Dennis Wheatley um I, I all I know about this is that it's supposed to be very good um and it's from like the 50s so and this edition is from the 50s as well i think this is the first edition quite rare um so i was lucky to find it and i found it quite cheaply online um so yeah i hope to get to that but i mean that front cover is just ugh, toe curling isn't it it's bleh. Anyway, <laughs> so the next one that I plan to take, um, and I hope to get to this one because this has been on my TBR for ages. Um, I think my husband got me this about two Christmases ago or two birthdays ago. It was certainly a gift for, for one of those occasions. Um, and it's Fierce Fairy Tales uh, and Other Stories to Stir Your Soul by Nikita Gill or Jill. I think, it, uh, I think it's Gill. But look at that front cover. Isn't that just gorgeous? And these... It's feminist fairy tales uh, for young and old, um, and I'm there for that. Uh, it sounds fantastic. Await no princes to save you, 
through their lips touching yours, whilst you, are, whilst you are in unwilling slumber, wake each other up instead. Step into this world of empowering imagined fairy tales, where the stereotypes of obliging lovers, violent men and girls that need rescuing are transformed into brave princesses, blurred lines between heroes and villains, and a courage Gretel and a courageous Gretel who can bring down monsters on her own. I'm there for it. I can't wait. I hope to get to this one. Um, the next one that I really want to get to uh, is The Cockroach by uh, Ian McEwan. Ian McEwan is one of my favourite contemporary uh, writers and I really want to get to this because I've, I've heard quite good things. Um, this is about a man who metamorphoses into a cockroach. So that, that'll be interesting. Yeah. And the next one is a collection of five books. Um, my husband bought me these um, about a year ago now and I've kept them because I've known for a, a long time that we were going on this holiday and I've kept them specifically for this, this reason. They're little quick reads. They are middle grade, but I don't care. Um, one of my favourite Disney movies from childhood is based on one of these books. Um, and I can't wait to get to them. It's the, the Great Mouse Detective, uh, Crumbs and Clues Collection by Eve Titus. There are five books. Um, the titles of the five books are Basil of Baker Street, which the Disney film is, is what, what, what that's called. Um, Basil and the Cave of Cats. Basil in Mexico, Basil in the Wild West, and Basil and the Lost Colony. So Basil the Great Mouse Detective is um, named after Basil Rathbone, who originated the, the first sort of um, movie adaptation of uh, Sherlock Holmes. And I am so here for this. I, I didn't know that this, this was a thing um, until we recently, well, about a year or so ago, watched uh, The Great Mouse Detective again and it said based upon a book by Eve Titus and I was just like, I I need that in my life. I have to have that. And then when I found out it was five books, I was like, <laughs> I, I need them even more um, because the story continues past what the movie told and it excites me. Um, so the last two books that I plan to take with me, I probably won't get to. I would like to get to, um, but I thought these kind of fit in with the whole uh, Balmoral uh, trip, really, because these these books involve Balmoral. Um, so the first one is uh, Victoria and Abdul, the true story of the Queen's closest confidant by... Shrabani Basu. Um, now, Abdul, um, Kari, Abdul Karim was the Queen's... What was he? What, there was a special name for him. Um, he was kind of like her teacher, but there was a name... A, a Munshi. He was her Munshi. Um, so he, he taught her the language of, of his land, uh, which was Urdu. And uh, there are there are rumours that they may have been more close than what, what people thought. Um, and I can't wait to get to this. Uh, this, I hope to get to it on holiday. If I don't, then it will be one that I will eventually get to at some point in 2020. Um, so yeah, that excites me. <clears throat> and the last one. Um, is Queen Victoria's Highland Journals. Now this obviously is, well, her Highland Journals, it's based in Balmoral because Balmoral was her Highland getaway. Um, she and Prince Albert bought Balmoral in, I think, the early part of their marriage. Um, and it's exciting. I think it's it's a lovely, a lovely book as well. Um, it, it has gorgeous artwork in it. And it's basically just her diary um, from, when, when does it, when is it from? Um, I think it's from the 1860s, so that would tie in uh, 
to when to when they bought the, the castle I think um, so yeah that's that's my TBR for our Balmoral trip um, I can't wait to go on this holiday we've been so looking forward to it for ages um, and it's such a special occasion I mean we in, in 2012, the January of 2012, we were sat there one night and we um, we decided it's it's a leap year. It's, it'll be a 29th of February this year. Why don't we just get married on the 29th? So we decided to and we had six weeks to, to organise it. And I thoroughly enjoyed our wedding day. It was the best day of my life. And I say that unironically. Um, the best day of my life. I married my best friend and we've been together 13 years this year, married for eight, officially two because of the leap year. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't change a moment and this, this, this holiday, it's going to be time for, for us just to spend with no interruptions, no interruptions, nothing, just us our dogs, some food, some drink, and plenty of books. And that might not be a lot of people's idea of blissful, but it's my idea of blissful. It's my husband's idea of blissful. And I cannot wait. I am so, so excited. Um, but yeah, that's, I'm, I'm blathering on now and I realize I'm probably boring you. So I will sign off. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Whatever you're doing, I hope you have so much fun doing it. Whatever you're reading, I hope you love it. Stay fabulous, be amazing, be yourself, and I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye-bye.